entering under 19 BSA section 709 in order to receive evidence uh, and commence hearings on whether to discontinue or designate as a trail uh, a portion of the class four section of town highway seven. Any persons wishing to testify or present documents, uh, we're gonna swear in. Um, I'm Mark Mahali, I'm the vice chair. Our chair isn't with us today. Um, I wanna just lay out what we wanna do today. Um, this is, this isn't like most of the hearings or matters that come before the select board in that this is a, what's called a quasi-judicial hearing. It's almost like a court trial. And what that means really is that we, the select board, are allowed to consider only things that are on the record. So one of the things that's most important is that we build a record, we have a record. And things that are on the record are then available to everybody. So what that means is today we're going to go through the documents that we've got so far. Mark, wait a minute. Let me interrupt. Turn yep. your head. You have a tick on here. Right Where? Let the record reflect Mark has a tick on his neck. Good job. Good job. Uninvited guest. He needs to check me. I need you to check me too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so far. Okay. What that means is that the only evidence that we can consider is written evidence or oral testimony. And I really urge people, if you haven't already, to submit your evidence in writing. It really helps if you write it down. And you can do that if some of you have already done it. Some of you, you can do it by giving it to us in a hearing, and we're going to continue the hearing today to another date. So we're, today isn't the main hearing. We're going to have another hearing. And you can testify orally, but you can also do it in writing. And it's best when it's in, when it's in writing. Um, so what we're going to do is go through that. Here, we're going to go through the written stuff. Anybody here who either has submitted, if you're here, and you have submitted something in writing, or you think you will, or you think you're gonna testify, we're, I'm gonna swear you in, okay? And so that you're promising to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, okay? Um, what this means is one thing, and I'm gonna use myself as an example. Um, we, you know, normally with a select board, like, you can lobby us, you know, you see us in the street, you can grab us and talk to us about a matter that's before us. We can't do that with this. Because that's called ex parte, it's outside the hearing. So we can't do that. It's really disfavored. So don't call us or- Email us. Email us or call, you know, collar us. So for example, um, and if, if something does happen, we have to reveal it. So for myself, for example, Tim Maker called me and wanted to tell me that what some of the commissions have done. So I'm revealing that right now, Sam. I'm, I'm revealing that. I also got an email from Charles Flower. I got an email from him. What I think I'm gonna do is just enter it in the record yeah. so that it'll be part of the record. And that's Lumberjack, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. We no, all, no, we no, no. We received an email from oh, the no, Conservation that's it. Commission too. Well, yeah, I've got, that's, I've got yeah. their testimony. Right, yeah, so, yeah. so don't, it's kind of unusual, it's like a trial, we're like the judges. So what we'll do is, we'll, today is kind of housekeeping, and we'll swear people in, and we'll uh, make a list of all the evidence that we've got, and enter it into the record, and then we'll continue the hearing to another time when we will we'll have everybody on the board there, and we'll take testimony. So, what do you want to add? So, what this I would, is Joe, Joe is, McLean. My name is Joe McLean. Um, I would just say for any other select board members that might have disclosures of ex parte communications or any conflicts that you think you might have, you should disclose those now. Yeah. If I, I've spoken with Stephanie Kaplan, Chair of the Conservation Commission. I've also spoken with Reed Charrington. I've had an email conversation with Tom Blatchley, the Chair of the Trails Committee, um, 
and sent Tom the file that we have on Town Highway 7 some weeks ago. Um, well, and well, and people from like Reed and things like that have come to select board meetings and made comments, but that's right, but that was in a, at an open meeting. Right, that's an open meeting. That was it's in the minutes. Um, I don't think I have anything. Okay. But I, could I just reinforce that there's a sign-in sheet going around so that we can keep track of making sure everybody has information when we reschedule. Not that it won't be posted publicly anyways, but we'll, 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 we'll make, we'll you make right sure now. you get a copy of the notice if we have your email. And, and, and I would just say, and we, um, for myself, I represent the town the select board is effectively my client, but for some of you who were on the site visit, might be, you may have heard um, my, in Vermont's a small place. My father worked for the Agency of Natural Resources for about 40 years and was friends and colleagues with Gary Schultz, and I know met Josh in the past, and so um, uh, I just want that to be out there and uh, transparent. So ultimately, when we have, what will happen is we'll have another hearing. We'll close the hearing when everybody's had a chance to submit testimony. And then we deliberate, like a court, we, we deliberate in executive session, right? In executive session, not publicly. We deliberate, or we make a decision, we write it up, and we issue it, right? It's almost it's, like a judge. It's, it's, and, and, just to be the lawyer, technically it's deliberations, not an executive session. Right, yeah. but Related, it's, but not identical. Right. And what will happen is you will conduct the hearing, take evidence, close the hearing, and then deliberate and render a written decision. And I think that the idea here is, again, for transparency, everything that's written, everything that's submitted uh, as an exhibit, is going to be put online so it's available for everyone to see yeah. and that will be the record that forms the basis or part of the basis for whatever decision the select board makes and we and, have and to can we just have people in the audience not chatting so because the acoustics in here are really terrible so when we have in terms of when it's all over we have three options we can keep the right of way as a class four road we can uh, discontinue the road. We can reclassify the road, the right of way, as a legal trail. Those are the three options that we have. And um, the standard, we have to act. Our decision has to reflect the, po quote, public good necessity and convenience. That's the legal standard. Um, so what I'd like to do is ask, Anybody who either has submitted testimony, oh, Stephanie, yeah. I have two procedural questions. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. The first one is, is your summary of the record consists of all the written stuff? What about oral testimony? No, all the oral testimony, okay. too. And that I'm sorry. Will be transcribed yeah. It won't be transcribed, but it will be recorded. Orca's, Orca is recording, and they'll get every, uh, they'll get it up on their website at some point. I usually takes a And it'll be the days. record. And, I mean, it will, if, if, if this were to, hopefully not, but if this were ever to go to court, it would have to be transcribed. But the other question I have is, um, has to do with appeals. Yeah. And I understand that appeals will go to Superior Court. I don't know, Joe, if you can answer this, but is there an issue of, I mean, how, how would it be determined who, who would have standing to appeal? And would it go to Superior Court? How the statute would talks about persons interested, and one of the things I was about to say, in order to make a clean record. So if we have to make a transcript in the event of an appeal, we want to know who's talking. And so it will be, if there's going to be verbal testimony, it will be very important for people to identify themselves, say where they live, and then just very briefly say like, what their interest in this is and why, when I say interest, I mean like, how is this related to um, their property is there you know um, are they 
callous residents? Uh, do they have some connection to this roadway? Just some brief statement so that down the road we can evaluate whether or not those people have standing. Um, you know, and we're probably not going to be making any standing decisions in this here. Um, what I'd like to do now is ask everyone who either has submitted testimony, oral or written, will submit testimony that's written, or plans on giving oral testimony. Could you please stand now? I'm going to swear to you. <laughs> if you don't know, say you will. Yeah. Okay. Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the evidence you are going to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. 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 Thank you. You're sworn in. Now you're all married. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to turn it over to Denise. We're going to just do some housekeeping. It's worth your listening because just make sure that if you submitted anything in writing, she's carrying yeah. it into the record. So, and I'm going to give you this flowers. Into it. Okay. Yeah, so I've got some comments and things that have come in recently, and then some older ones. So um, if you sent something or think you sent something, make sure that I have it. And if you're going to send something in writing, make sure you send me a copy so I can track it for the official exhibit list that will be used by the board when we're reviewing materials and making our decision. Um, we'll send it to your home. Your home. You have my Calis Select Board, either one. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, and I'll make sure that... Or you can hand it to us at today, or you can hand it to us at the hearing. Right. Turn it into the clerk's office, and it will get to us. Yeah. Right. right. Um, I can't think of anything sign else. Oh, sheet. I know. Oh, the sign-in sheet. Please make sure you sign in. Um, and I just, I guess I, I had a question for you, and now I can't remember what it was. Do you want to go through and make sure that we've entered everything? Well, what I have right now... Yeah, let's list them. Okay, so what I have right now is a letter from Reed Charrington... Um, that came in, with, came in as an attachment to an email. And I have a letter from the Conservation Commission and one from Jan Olson. I have, and this, oh, I guess this is what my question was for you, Joe. Back in April, Weisbarts sent an email that I'll make sure it gets posted. Do we take emails like yeah. this? Yes. As testimony? Sure. Okay. So I have two emails from Weisbarts, one from June, one from April. I have one from Jamie Morby from April. Um, Forest Parks and Recreation, April. Cushman and Wakefield, that's Lumberjack. And that was from, we received it April 11th. And I think then that's the consultant to Lumberjack. Lumberjack. Yeah, yeah. And I received and then this, this email. And then this email oh. from Charles Flower. Which was just to me, so that's why we're putting it in the record. Yeah. And now, is there? Did you, any of you folks write something to us? Not oral. Write something to us that she did not list. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tom Lamb um, from yeah. the uh, Trails Committee. Um, I did submit a uh, an email. I, I didn't know to send it to you and to Denise, so I sent it to Sharon because yeah. she's chairman of the, of the select board. Which just, um, I'll resubmit it to both of you, but it just uh, is a, uh, a report on the, what the Trails Committee okay. has uh, decided. Yeah, I made a note you're going to send it to us, Tom. Right, we'll do that. Okay. okay. Oh. Anybody else? Anybody? Sure. Yes. Denise, I sent you and John an email that said to the select board. Um, I don't have a copy of it with me, but uh, how long ago it, was that, Gary? Um, it was a while ago, so back in April, I think. No, this one pretty much. It was a what I what I tried to do was just set up the argument. Right. That, right, and that's exactly what we need to have as evidence for the record. So, so, so if you we resend it. Should we resend it? Yes. Yeah. If you resend it because I'm going to have to add it to the exhibit list. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was okay. that sent? Jill's email or your email? Jill's. Jill's. Jill's, that's the only email there is. Okay. Jan? Um, in April, I think we sent something kind of as a result of a planning commission meeting, and we also sent a recommendation relative to 
a policy for class four roads. Uh, I don't know if it would be effective with this for this hearing or not, but it was a result. We had an open meeting of with the Schultzes and, and Charles attended, um, and we reported on it, and we may want to put in the record the April 5th minutes from the Planning Commission on that meeting. Okay, so I'll make sure I get those April 5th minutes? Yeah. I think it would be worthwhile for anything that was submitted outside this hearing that's not on Denise's list, resubmit it in this hearing, okay. if, including if anything from town boards, commissions, committees. Um, there are, this process is almost entirely statutory, but there are two ways in which the uh, discontinuance proceedings can be commenced. One is by a petition signed by 5% of the voters, and the other is by action of the select board itself. And just so everyone's clear, this was commenced by action of the select board itself. The Schultzes made a request, it wasn't a formal petition, and the select board took it up and decided to warrant a hearing. Um, it is possible that uh, the board may um, put maps, other documents that are um, part of the business records of the town into evidence in this proceeding as well, just to kind of fill out the record to ensure that they have everything that they need. But if there's Again, just to reemphasize what Mark said, if there's anything that you want in the record, you want to make sure that the select board sees, you want to submit that as part of your evidence in, in this hearing, now that we're technically in the hearing. And written testimony is... It's better. It's better. It's better because... So we don't have to go back and try to find it on a video. Correct. I mean, if we have to make a transcript, we're hoping to have the ability to do that, but our preference is to have... Just... Our preference is to have a written document that's labeled as an exhibit that's stored electronically so that we can easily find things as we're going through what I anticipate may be a number of different documents. Oh, good. That's great. That's good. So what? They're, they, they have the ability to create a transcription. Oh, from okay. them. It's pretty good. Okay. That's wow. good. Okay. So, by the um, way, I forgot to say a special welcome to people here who are under 12, our future, so future select board members and commissioners. Uh -huh. We're recruiting now. Yeah. Training right. in progress. So I'm glad you're here, guys. Um, at this point, I mean, I'm prepared to continue. Yeah, read. Well, I'm, I just want to throw in my question now. Yeah. I found myself uh, working on this uh, issue, uh, collecting quite a few interesting maps, uh, particularly town highway maps, uh, over the years. Yeah, and, and I, last night, before I read your post in Front Porch Forum, I put together uh, a little um, uh, binder for yeah. each of the select board members, but I'm not supposed to c communicate to the select board members individually. And, and when I discovered that, I changed the front of the thing to, to taking your names off and just said assembled by Reed Charrington, copy number one of five, and so on. Now, <clears throat> I, it, it might be convenient for you to have five copies. Well, and you have an extra one for our attorneys, by any chance? Uh, well, we can scan it. We'll scan it. We'll scan it. We're going to post it. Just, just give them, give those to us now, and we will enter them right now. Right. So, just so you know, that we're, it's going to take us a few days, maybe hopefully by the end of, at the end of next week, mm -hmm. okay, to try to get us. We're, what I want to do is have a button on the front page of the website yes. that you can click. It says Town Highway 7, and it will link you to documents. So it might take a few days to get everything up. So, in other words, this is rather a little legalistic and a little slow. And I apologize for that, but it's really important when you do these kinds of hearings, you do them right. So we're going to do it right. Now, at this point, let me just ask the board, I'm prepared to continue this hearing to a date certain, but I think we need to figure the date out. Yes. So, and are we going to try to do that at like six o'clock or five o'clock 
on a regularly scheduled select board night. Yeah, I think that so. makes a really long, long day, really long evening. And by the time well, we, can we get done, schedule we can a special meeting. We can right, schedule a special and that's why you know by the time you get done with the this, we might like be. Oh no! Now we got to do a select right. board meeting. Okay, right. so we could do a special meeting on an alternate Monday. Right. So we are scheduled to meet. There's the twentieth when we're not doing a regular select board meeting. But I don't know that that's if that's too soon. Is that? Well, that would be like next a week from Monday, the twentieth. And then our regular meeting is the twenty seventh. Our next regular select board meeting is the eleventh. And the 25th, so off July. select of July. So, so uh, well, we probably don't want to do this on July 4th, right? right? Unless no. somebody has fireworks. <laughs> probably not. Um, we could make it. So we could do it on the 18th of July. July 18th, that would be fine. Does that work? Yeah. And so, what, yeah. what time do you want to do? I think, is it convenient for people if we do it at 6 o'clock? Is that bad? What would you? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Or is it? 6 p.m. because then. Is it better for so, people if we do it at 7 so people kids. have time to eat? Or people have kids and they yeah. got to get home and all that you might want to start at 6. What do you think? Okay? Okay. So on the 18th at 6. Okay, so July 18th, is that a Monday? Right. Yes. I move, so I am moving, the, yeah, Stephanie? I'm sorry, I had another question. Yeah. Um, it's procedural. It has to do with the site visit. Some of us were on the site visit. Right. We all observe things. Is that going to be put in the well, record? And if, how, if so, how is it going to be put in the record? Great question. Great question. Do I answer that? You're a lawyer. I'm a recovered lawyer. <laughs> so. The answer is that the site visit is required by statute. But what? But the site visit is primarily just to allow the select board members to sort of get the literally get the lay of the land. It's not evidence. What they saw is an evidence. So if there's anything from the site visit that you want to make sure is in the record, you need to either write it or say it at the hearing. Um, the, as I said, the site visit, uh, we just sort of try to treat the select board members like they're a video camera and point them in the direction of things you want them to see, but everything needs to ultimately be done at the hearing. So like, for example, I'm going to give it a concrete example. Supposing one of you feels, and I happen to know that at least one of you feels this way, that part of the road is impassable. Well, whether or not we saw it, that doesn't put it in the record. You have to say it, and then it's in the record. Okay? Got it. I'm sorry that this is so kind of rule-bound and formal. I apologize, and I apologize in advance for the fact that you all came down here and we're not going to do testimony today. We're doing just this. And, but you're sworn, which is good. Uh, so I guess I move that we continue this hearing to July 18. 18. Oh, look, I never, I got, forgot to ask. Lisa, are you, would you be available on July 18th at 6? Yeah. Before we move forward, yeah. do, would be, it would be appropriate since we just did a site walk for people to actually comment on what we saw. It's fresh, you're right there. Put that, you tell me, I'm not sure about this In procedure. The right just well, so I, I mean, it would be taking testimony. Yeah, I think we might want to wait. Let's wait. wait? Okay. Yeah, let's you wait. can certainly, if you want to, you know, make some notes from today's site visit to I'm sure you don't forget. Anything you can do that. And just, I think uh, people know okay. damn well what's out there. Yeah. Yes, right. I think that um, is everybody. So I've made this motion to continue it to six p.m. six p.m. on the Monday, July eighteenth. Monday, July eighteenth. Here, yeah. right here. And um, you want a second? Do I have a second? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, um, is there any other? Do people feel like you understand how this weird thing goes and how we're going to do it? <coughs> do you have any questions? Now's the time. If you have questions about how we're going to do it, yeah. I have one question. You mentioned the three criteria. Yeah. The three yeah. options. Yeah. The three options. What yeah. were they again? They were keep, keep the road as a class four road, discontinue the road, or make the road a trail. When we say trail, I mean legal trail, which is uh, 
it, it, it preserved a public right of way, but subject to regulation by the select board. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. I could open up on how they came And so what the, um, it, the distinction, a distinction between the trail and a, say, class four road is that if it were passable, which it, we saw at the site visit, some would say it's not, but if it were possible, the select board couldn't prohibit motor vehicles from using a class four highway. Right. Whereas a select board has a choice whether or not to allow motor vehicles on a trail, and they could, by ordinance, prohibit you know, uh, ATVs, motorcycles, other car, passenger cars from uh, traveling on a trail. We're not we're really not advocating any one of these options over right. another at this point. But if we were to designate it as a trail, we would have to have a separate proceeding to do the ordinance. It would not be part of this, correct? Correct. We'd have to then have a discussion about what gets allowed on the trail. Whereas if it stays a class four road, we don't have control over that. It's a class four road. Any other questions before we adjourn? What would be, what's the preference for keeping, what's the preference for keeping a town road that doesn't go anywhere? That's an, in terms of, in terms of accessing something. I mean, that's a factor that if it's in evidence that the road, if it's entered into evidence that the road is problematic in terms of its use, that's a factor that we can take into consideration when we make our decision. I mean, it would definitely be relevant, but remember, someone has to say it or write it or put it in the record, okay? It's not enough that we happen to see it. And just to be clear, the question that the select board, the ultimate question that they have to answer is, does the public good, necessity, and convenience support the requested action to discontinue the road? And they can take all of these factors into account in trying to make that determination. Sure. Um, kind of on the point, a little bit borrowing from that, but also the point about um, redesignating this road, the Class 4 road, as a trail or discontinuing it. Joe, can you explain what the rights, like pairing rights, I guess, are that remain uh, with the landowners that the road goes through were it to be downgraded to a trail or discontinued, for instance, lumberjacks? What rights would remain in terms of their level of use of the road and access? The answer is no. I can't explain that uh, at an open meeting. Or okay. I, I, I think that if uh, part of the understanding of this is that I am here to advise the select board and to have certain you know, sort of professional obligations to the town and the board. There are a number of legal questions that might come up during the course of this hearing. And I am trying to be a little bit careful about not providing general legal advice. I would encourage anyone who has a question that is legal in nature um, to um, feel free to consult with an attorney or to do whatever they think is necessary to, to, to answer that question. But there are certain things that I probably can't answer at an open meeting. An open meeting. Okay. But if somebody puts it in as testimony. Well, then it's on the record. Then it's on the record. Right, and I just, um, there, you know, even, even my general comments tonight, I don't want anyone to feel as though that this is the uh, end of the legal discussion on this. Of course, anyone's free to consult with an attorney and, um, you know, uh, obtain any opinions that they might obtain. So, in sum, we look forward to, we've got a lot of written testimony. Read, we have your maps. Anybody else who wants... We, is this getting entered as an exhibit? Yes, it's yeah. an exhibit. They like to... Yeah. Uh, anybody who has any, you know, any written testimony, anything you want to add, there's plenty of time to do it, do it. I have a question. And uh, the kitchen sink is better than not. Yes. What is the protocol or, or what are the rules regarding interacting directly with the attorney that's going to be evaluating this, this he's process? Not, he's not evaluating. Right. We're evaluating. Okay. He's just advising us. Okay. On the rules of the game as we go, and, and when we get to the point when we've heard all the evidence, mm -hmm. he'll be, and we are meeting in deliberative session, which means by 
ourselves. So, uh, if he thinks we're doing something stupid, he's going to have to tell us. Well, if he's not following the law. we're not following the law, that's what I mean by stupid. Uh, if we're not following the law, he has to tell us. Uh, but generally speaking, outside of the kind of procedural questions that Stephanie was asking, he can't. He, he can't have the legal advice. He can't be your advisor. He's ours. No, I'm not talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about other other, other individuals um, oh. trying to influence the process privately. In, oh yeah, in, yeah. You can talk to anybody you want. Okay. And if you I not, mean, but not the board. Not the board. No, right. but if you have. If you want to hire a lawyer, not that I'm advocating, yeah. but if you want to hire a lawyer, you can, to advise you or to talk. Anybody can talk to us on this, or write us. In the hearing. In, in the hearing. In the hearing. Yes, you're right. In the hearing. Okay? And if you send comments, written comments, just know that they're going to get posted so everybody can read them. Yeah, stay okay. civil. Yeah, everybody will read them, so stay civil. Uh, I think we're done, and we're by continuing it. Yes. Excuse me. I have one. I think it's a procedural question. Yes. Uh, between now and the 18th of July, which is when this uh, hearing would recommence, uh, are the materials that have been submitted and are, I guess, now of record? Are they available? Yes. For, for yeah, yeah. That's what I just said. We're going to post them on the website. On the website. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're I'm sorry. Try to we have a webmaster now, and we're going to try to create. That is obvious. Yeah, I don't so you don't have to go it. way down into the foul. We're gonna we'll put it on the front. We'll put it on the front page, and you'll click on it, and it'll probably it'll take you to another place on the yeah. website. We'll but it'll be right on the front page. Well, yes. as I'm sure some folks will want to add to it or submit things in this interim. Well, would you I'll go on to put it. them on? Yes. Sort of as that's kind of a good question. Here. Is as so as, as they're submitted at the in, hearing, they will be added. But right. not, what if it's between now and the 18th and we get stuck? Do I add that? I think, do you, do you want to put it? You can put it up there, but it won't actually be admitted as part of the record until the, the select board hearing. actually accepts it at the hearing formally. But you can put a list of, like what, what is dates. on Denise's list today is part of the record. These are all in the record. If there are things that are submitted during the interim period, we can put them online and make it clear somehow that not yet admitted, well, I'll put but the they're available. I'll, I'll make sure the exhibit list gets posted. Yes. I'll make me type it up. Okay. And then we can say yes, and then the ones that are submitted but haven't been actually admitted, make it we can just leave the, that it's been admitted blank. Larry, did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, any other questions? Yes. At the hearing, will anybody be able to ask questions of anybody, of any of the any of the witnesses, or will they be able to ask questions about somebody who submitted something in writing? Will they be able to question the person at the hearing about it? Yeah, I think it would be most useful if questions came through the board and then the chip board chair can redirect the question after, rather than having members of the yeah, audience cross-examining each that, other. Yeah, we don't want that. That gets chaotic. Yeah. But if let's say you see something, Stephanie, in writing and you want, have a question about it, submit the question. Okay. And you can do it in the hearing through the chair, which is not me, Sharon. And then the chair has the discretion to ask the witness, what about this? But we don't want, it, it's just going to be chaotic if we have yeah, every, we yeah. don't. Yeah, we don't want neighbors cross-examining neighbors. That, that doesn't work well. Right, as in, how could you think that you would be right. um, Anything else? We're adjourned. We, by continuing, we've actually adjourned ourselves, right? right? So we're adjourned. Good. Thank you, by the way, everybody, for coming down. Kiddos can have a, can they have a treat?